Good day. Today we are going to talk about the outstanding deposits. So which is under the bank reconciliation segment. So what is an outstanding deposit? An outstanding deposit. It is a deposit that is appearing in the questionnaires. I mean in the CRG. But it is not appearing in the bank statement. It is not appearing in the bank statement. So it is called an outstanding deposit. So how can this happen that something is recorded in a CRG, meaning if you have received the money, but it is not appearing in the bank statement? So what can happen is we can, uh, as a business, we can go and make, I mean, we can go and deposit their money only to find out that the business, only to find out that the, the bank has already sent us a bank statement. Let me make an example. Let's say this is us this is as a business. Then this is after bank. This is after bank. So this is APSA. So APSA sent us a bank statement on, on the 25 of the month. Right? And then a customer comes to us on day 28. They buy their goods. So after buying their goods, now we must take this money and go and deposit it to the bank on the day 28. Right? They put the goods on the day 28. So now we must go and deposit this money to the bank. Right? So now, at the end of the month, once we are, once we are comparing the genes with the bank statement, obviously, the transaction that happened after the day 25, it is not, it is not going to appear in this, bank, in, in this bank statement. So therefore, it is going to be recorded as the, as the outstanding deposit. Okay? The bank sent us a bank statement on day 25, and then we deposited the money on day 28. So obviously, the money that was deposited on day 28, it is not going to appear in this bank statement because it was sent a year. So now, that money that we deposited, it is going to be called an outstanding deposit which is going to be recorded in the bank reconciliation as an outstanding deposit. So we are going to record it in the bank reconciliation statement every month up until it appears. Meaning that if it does not appear in the following month, we are still going to record again that outstanding, that outstanding deposit in the bank reconciliation statement. We are going to record it up until it appears in the bank statement. Remember, the reason we are recording it in the bank reconciliation it is because it is not appearing in the bank statement. So we're going to record it in the bank reconciliation statement up until it appears in the bank statement. That is your outstanding deposit.